Hello, hello, planner peeps, and welcome back to another video. This is M of Plan with M, and today I am planning in my bullet journal. Although technically, uh, you know, this page has no dots on it, so I don't know if it's technically a bullet journal. But this is what I use for social media. So we, as you can, uh, hopefully, if you watched my setup, you'll see that we were going with a very sort of like space inspired theme and I'm going to continue that theme through the rest of the month. So uh, I was hoping that some of the scraps that I had left over would be useful just because I'm tired of ripping pages out of this little really really nice uh, Archer and Olive block pad. Basically you can just rip out a piece. But I want to do like some black running through the middle here uh where and so like and in that ooh, i like that i just got to show the bottom now too and in that what i would do oh i should have hey you messed up i need you need to tear from the same side otherwise you end up with okay so we're gonna tear this way. Yep, I messed up again already. Okay. So now do I tear this side? Yes! Okay, I did one. I got one right. Ugh. Okay. So now I just need to rip it right there. Uh, scissors, scissors, scissors. Right here. Oh no, I already messed it up. <laughs> oh, you know what I should do? Just grab some of my X-Acto knife. Cause uh, that's gonna be easier. And now I can just do a little, one of those. Okay, so let's grab some of my Tombow brush paper. Or uh, not brush paper, uh, Tombow Dual adhesive. And get this stuck on. I did do a brief like foray, I think that's the right word for it, into glue. And I'm not a big fan, but I like using this to divide up my day. And I think it'll be fun. Okay. Now, okay. And then this side, I don't actually need as much because I, well, do I want it to go through notes? Sure, why the heck not? Okay. And so we will we'll glue this on this side. The, the nice thing about doing a setup like this with the, with like craft paper and you're, you're just tearing paper, right? And like, sure, you might want to tear it in a certain way to make it look a certain way. But ultimately what it comes down to is you're tearing paper like you it's very difficult to do this wrong <laughs> I mean admittedly do I have a whole pile over here proving how I did this wrong yes but that's not the point <laughs> so now I have in a thing somewhere yep here it is I'm gonna grab uh this is just a, a knock knock pad. I just need something to use as my activation. What is happening? I have found that this has been happening with my acrylographs where like I use them once. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now we're good again. Basically, you can see here that that one is really watery and this one is not. It was just that I had not activated it enough. Okay, so. What do I want to do? I think I just want to go in. Oh. Um, let me grab my stencil. Because I think that I just want to uh, draw these on the black paper and then give myself a like a huge amount of room to write. Because I have been making some plans, taking names up in here, uh, and 
I want to continue having all that space to write. At the end of the... Oh. Okay, well, pro tip. That one's kind of cool, actually, because it has a little bit of a sun flare. But, yeah, definitely don't use acrylographs with stencils. It's not as fun as you think it might be. <laughs> and I will go in after this and add in uh, some white dots as well. Got a nice lumpy one here, uh, which is fine. This one too has that sun flare effect. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a professional bullet journal, journaler, guys. And everyone knew that already. Uh, let's try. There we go. Okay. And just add a few more dots all over the place. Some closed circles. Let's see. The problem with trying to do these little stars with the acrylograph, at least for me, is that I don't have the I don't have the finest of touch. And so it gets a little difficult for me to just pop in those cute little dots. Alright. Now, so we've got a bunch of these dots that I'm just putting in here. This is like legitimately so easy. Like anyone could do this. Okay. I'm going to put the acrylograph away. I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to go in with my uh, Zebra Sarasa, which is in 0.5. Uh, I really like that. I'm like, so my usual pens are 0.3. Like that's how thick I like my lines to be. And by thick, I mean thin. I don't, I don't like big, thick, chunky ones, which is why I got my acrylographs in 0.7 rather than 3. Uh, I do think, I think that I could use this here. I think that would be actually a really pretty good use of this. So, except it has those stinking rounded edges. That's okay. Alright, so we're going to cut this one here. It does make the tear really easy. I'm just gonna turn it upside down for this one. Just because I'm not as good on my left hand side. Oh, this works out perfectly. Okay, and boom. Well, we're close enough to a tear. Okay. Let's add some glue on the back. Oh, open your glue. Always remember to open your glue. Oh, yeah, uh, in terms of my social stuff, so as you know, I do have a booktube channel, and it, it's literally, I just talk about what books I'm reading and what I think about them, uh, and it is, I think if you search it on here, it's M Reads, um, but I, my account on Instagram is M Reads Books, um, I'm realizing now that I'm going to need that acrylograph again, so let's just make sure she is awake. <laughs> And let's uh, it's really easy to make like a half circle look like you drew it <laughs> or like that you drew it by hand or uh, not by hand. By hand is the problem in this situation, isn't it? Okay, and this, oh yes, 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 yes. And then this side, uh, I can make this work. I can make this work. Okay. So it's like, ultimately, I just need to glue it down. I'm a little manic right now, honestly. Uh, I think it's just because we had pancakes for breakfast and I haven't taken my meds yet for my anxiety. Which honestly would make anyone a little manic. Okay. 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 Now let's try to plan it down here. And 
Let's do a whole one right here, if I can. Shoot. That was looking so good until it turned into a, an egg, basically. But yeah, it's just, you're adding dots and you're adding like maybe some oblong shapes if you feel like it. I'm gonna go in and add the dates here soon. Monday's the fourth, right? Let me flip back to my monthly because my monthly knows all the answers. Monday is the fourth, yes, okay. So I need to be out here without my elbow just because I don't want to smear anything by accident. This, I don't know why this reminds me of the dentist when you have cavities they like cure your teeth uh, once like when they're putting in the uh, whatever it's called <laughs> the the fake enamel um, but they go in with like this UV thing and then they cure it and so that's what I'm doing right now I'm curing the uh, well, at least the bottom one, uh, but I can go in with my, oh, this is sticky because I took off the, the wrapping, the little barcode label thing. Okay, well, that's not the point. Just gonna make sure, are these working? Yes, okay. But you can go as small as you want, you can go as big as you want. I'll plant it right here and I'll plant it right there. I'm gonna turn this upside down now so that I can see it a little better and also not accidentally mess up the bottom layer there. But this is just like, I don't know, this feels creative to me um, and it's it's enjoyable to do just because like, like I'm just putting in tiny little dots and I'm gonna add in some uh, them with the little diamonds just because I like those I feel like they're really aesthetic lately let's add some on this side too and you can add like these little dots or bigger dots also uh, on your planets they they could be like craters or they can in my head they look like freckles so it's like I've got freckly planets everywhere But it's nice just to have, you can sort of see the difference between what the top layer looks like and what the bottom layer looks like. I'm going to go in right now on the bottom layer and add these cute little sort of accents and dots, circles. We're going to give our moon some freckles. Ultimately, I feel like I should probably stay away from doing these, the, uh, the, uh, diamonds in the acrylograph in the future, but we'll see if I remember, because it's always the first thing I do when I pick up the acrylograph. I'm like, let's draw a diamond. Uh, let's shade this one in even. One problem that I find myself doing is sometimes I'll be doing pseudo random uh, dots where like I'll think that I'll be being random, but really I end up just like drawing a couple dots like all in a line, like right over here. <laughs> There's five dots in a row. Uh, okay, that needs a little get a little bit of uh, TLC, and by TLC I mean glue. Uh, now the problem is that uh, I just got it all over the stinking page but this is this is like a weekly setup for me I just have some space and then I'm just going to write everything that I need to do this week in whatever's left so this is a, a weekly spread for me um, go ahead and let me know if you want to see more bullet journal content alternatively also if you want to see less bullet journal, bullet journal content uh, just because I'm still sort of trying to figure out what to show here when um, and yeah.
go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And happy planning.